Hi foodies, let's make a traditional Jamaican dinner from start to finish. Rice and peas and chicken with vegetables. Just want to show you how easy it is to make everything. So most times I try to do the vegetables first just to keep them in the fridge nice and cool. So I have vinegar, a little salt and pepper and sugar. This is a very simple dressing. Usually we don't add oil, you know, to make, you know, the usual type of vinaigrette that you might expect. We just keep it very simple. As a matter of fact, sometimes people might just do sugar and vinegar and that's it. Okay, so we're just going to mix all of this together. Most times it's just done to taste. After that, we'll add the veggies. Now our basic coleslaw is literally just shredded cabbage, which I have here. It's usually a white cabbage. And then you add the grated or shredded carrot. Of course, sometimes if we want to, then we will go in with bell peppers, sometimes cucumber strips, um, just to, you know, give it more color. So I have some bell peppers here and we're just gonna add those, but most times you get coleslaw it might just be carrot and cabbage toss everything together and then i'll just refrigerate after tasting it if you feel like it needs something feel free to add something you know sugar vinegar whatever and just toss it again all right then after that i deal with the rice and peas traditionally we do not use rice cookers or instant pots okay but i just you know took it easy on myself that day so in here i have coconut milk water garlic salt and dry red kidney beans we call them red peas so what i will do now guys is just to pressure cook these because these are raw you can use canned peas but i prefer to use the dry one and pressure cook it so it usually takes around 30 minutes we're gonna pressure cook this and then later on we'll put in the rice and other good stuff So while the peas are being pressure cooked, I have my chicken here that was seasoned for a good while. I had it in the fridge soaking. It's full of flavor. So all I need to do now is to put this in the oven. So I take this out of the fridge for about 30 minutes to take the chill off. You can use a baking tray like I did with the foil or a baking dish. And I just put these on skin side up. I'm going to bake them at 350 for about 30 minutes. Now, if you haven't seen the oven jerk barbecue, you know, video already, I can tell you that this chicken was seasoned with some green seasoning, jerk seasoning, some brown sugar, soy sauce, um, all purpose seasoning, very well seasoned. OK, so it's going to be good to the bone. So, so far we have the peas pressure cooking. We have the chicken in the oven, the veggie in the fridge. I just need to do a sauce for the chicken. So it's very easy. I have ketchup, barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna add fresh thyme and ginger. And then I'll add some honey and crushed allspice berries. All my yardies will say, we don't call this allspice, we call this pimento seed or pimento green. Okay. Then we just need to let this simmer so that all the ingredients can come together. All right. We want to make this flavorful, even though it is easy. The chicken has baked for 30 minutes so far. We're going to flip it over and baste it with that delicious sauce mixture we need. After we baste it, we're going to put it back into the oven for about 30 minutes again.
So once the chicken is in the oven, we can check on the instant pot. Open that up, the peas are cooked. This is gonna be smelling really flavorful. That coconut milk has soaked into the peas, so they're gonna be nice and tasty. We just need to add our other ingredients now. And we're gonna add brown sugar, of course. There are people that argue no brown sugar in rice and peas. Do what you want, your kitchen, your rules. Then I'm adding scallion or green onion, whatever you have. Give it a stir. And you wanna make sure to taste it again too, guys, to see if you want to add more salt. I added salt in the beginning, so I don't really need any more salt here. And now I'm adding the white rice, and the white rice I'm using today is basmati. This was rinsed several times and drained. And of course, we can't leave out the scotch bonnet pepper. So since I'm using the Instant Pot today, I'm going to cover this up and I'm gonna press the rice button. That's it. Let it do its thing, okay? So just press the rice button, that's it. While that's going, I take the chicken out of the oven and it's gorgeous. I need to flip it again though. Once you flip it, this time the skin side should be up and we're gonna bake it for the final time for about 25 or more minutes. So flip it over, skin side up, brush on your sauce again and you're gonna bake it at the same 350 for 25 minutes or more and broil it for color if you want to. Here's our delicious chicken out of the oven. I baked it, then I turned on the broiler last minute for more color. It is beautiful, smells great, tastes amazing. This is good to go. So all I need to do now is to check on my rice. After it cooked for 10 minutes, I let it sit on low for about five. Then I let that natural release of the pressure happen. And then I take the lid off and now I'm just fluffing it up. This is ready to go once you take out, you know, the thyme and the scallion and stuff. Then you just go ahead and serve up your scrumptious oven jerk barbecue chicken, rice and peas with coleslaw. And of course, I like to leave some, you know, of that sauce on the stove so I can put it on the rice if I want to. You are gonna love this combination. If you've never had it before, you need to try it. If you have a Jamaican in your life that you want to cook a nice comforting Sunday dinner for, go ahead and do this. I'm sure they will love you for it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.